Hi and welcome to my channel, The Many Adventures of Greg. Please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button. And our next adventure starts now. Today on The Many Adventures of Craig, we are fixing my mom's minivan. It's a Toyota Sienna 2008. And just a year ago, we replaced the caliper on the back wheel. And now it's starting to squeak again. So now we're replacing the caliper and the brake pads on this wheel. And then just the brake pads on that wheel. So we bought about $90 worth of um, tools. These are the brake pads. They're wherever. They look kind of like that. There's some brake holders. And then this is the caliper. Pretty heavy looking thing. It's got a little oil thing. Holds the brake pads. So anyway, we're replacing the caliper and the brake pads on this side. And the brake pads, just the brake pads on the other side. The first step to replacing the brakes is to take off the panel. The hook caps. Might be a little hard to take it off, but this come right off. And get them loose. And it comes right off. A little jerky. And then, you gotta take off the nuts on the wheel. And you only have to loosen them. And you have to do this before you jack it up. Because when you jack it up, and you try to take off these nuts and they're still tight, the wheel will just spin. Just loosen them. After you have the nuts loosened, then you can put the jack right in front of the wheel, but right under the door, so it's kind of lined up. And then you can jack up the van. Okay, now it's time to take the wheel off. And you should just, then you can take off the last bolt. You also want to keep track of the lug nuts, so that when you go put the wheel back on, that you don't lose them. This one you might see after you take the wheel off. Here's the caliber. It's the brakes. Inside the caliper. Okay. Now, take note. If your rotor is super groovy, then it will need replaced. But this one doesn't feel too bad, so it doesn't need replaced. Okay. Now, you have to crack your line loose when you're replacing the calipers or taking off. Just crack it loose. Like that. And then when you're taking the calipers off, you want to take these bolts and take them out. There's one on the top and there's one on the bottom. And you can do it with your fingers once they're loose. And you don't want to lose these either, because you're going to need them when you put the new caliper or the old one back on. Now you can take it off. Got 
I kind of wiggle it. And you don't want to let it fall down. Just keep it up here because the line's still attached. And then here's the brakes. Here's this little shield thing. It's looking pretty bad. There's some little things in between. And then the brake. And then there's another little shield. And then this is the caliper. Pretty heavy. That's what it looks like. Let's take these little brake pads off. And by the way, you can bang them, they won't hurt them. Or you can just wedge them out of there. And notice how thin these are. Look at how much wear and tear happened. That's from all, that's from when you were stopping. And you'll notice that these are a lot thinner than the new ones that you'll buy. Now we're going to take the the line off the caliper. And see this whole thing? This is completely stuck and frozen, and that's the whole point of why we're replacing the caliper. So this bracket is on the new caliper, so we want to take it off. There's two bolts. One up here. just take this right off and then here's the new caliber looks a little bit like this you can see that it's not stuck like the old one now you can take the fuel line and hook it up to the new caliper You want to get this line all the way on. And then you want to tighten it. Okay, 
Now you have to tighten these up. These two off. Put the new brake pads in. And this comes off. And this is what you want to be seeing. Then you put the new brake pads in. Okay. Now we can. You might be wondering what these little silver things are that come with the brakes. These actually help you put in the brake pads. One goes right down here and you might also notice that it's raining outside and it actually has been the whole time we've been fixing the van now does this fit right down there and then there's one more for the other side now we put it front part of the caliber back on, we put the nuts in, and we tighten them up. Once those two are tight, then, th and this, then this is all secure. Now, after all that, your hands probably look like this. They're pretty grungy in bed. So, the go-to thing for me is Gojo. All you have to do is take two or three pumps, some paper towels, scrub, scrub, scrub. and your hands turn from horrible to great. Now the last part to this is you have to put the wheel back on. And we decided to use this just because when we have a chance to speed up stuff, then we do. Now you rotate it and you do it again.
And remember, you want to do this part slow so it doesn't crash down. Now, we put the hood cap on.